guys welcome to another tutorial so um while i was recording this um i realized i reached 500 subscribers thank you guys so much um, i enjoy doing this today we're gonna go over um creating um homing missiles for both 2d and 3d keep in mind this is like a conversion from bracky's video for the 2d version and the 3d is a bit the same as the 2d but you know three dimensions so First, let's get into what I have here. So, I have, for 2D, I have a player and a missile. I you can see right here, you could play a scene. And I just have the player moved around. And I got this missile here, not doing anything right now. And then we're gonna do you the 3D. Same deal. Got the player moving, I have a camera, third person controller. This missile that I made here. Alright, so let's start with 2D. Okay, so first let's go here. Add a script. Go to D. The default. Okay, so first we're gonna export speed and rotation speed. It's gonna be more realistic, like the player can actually avoid the missile but it come around and try to get you again let's get a reference to the player as the target and reset it as no 2d you don't have to set it as no 2d but just so can get the position and all of that the syntax let's get the direction so that's gonna be the target's position minus my pos the missile's position then we normalize it now we're gonna get the rotation amount by the cross product of my transform up position so if I'm rotated this is gonna be a different value so it's gonna just return a float so the cross product is the perpendicular position between the two points between my player and my the direction to the player and my transform now we use that rotation amount and rotate it with times the speed and times delta and we can translate the position by transform y times the speed and the times delta. Now let's test that out. Let's go here, run. And there you go. And I already have a particle effect set. They should follow me around. And that should be it. I'm gonna rotate and come back around. And then let's let's go ahead and set up all the other stuff. So this part's not really a tutorial; it's just extra stuff. Grab here, touch that. So miss is an error. So let's go to node and on body entered. Connect that to the missile. It's already here. And then let's go back to the explosion effect and attach my explosion effect oops not there this one i can run it and there you go now for 3d okay guys so let's go on the missile and create a script missile 3d notice the eyes missing here but well missile 3d First, let's get speed, rotation speed as usual. But now we're gonna have a velocity cause you're gonna have it separated. And we get a rotation and then explosion effect that we're gonna add afterwards. As usual, we need a, a reference to the player and I get it as a spatial. Remember, keep in mind uh, a kinematic body which the player is it's just an in, it inherits a spatial note so the only reason I have the spatial is for getting like the you know syntax like global transform and stuff like that for example I could say target the global transform so I could get all of this so for this we're gonna use physics process gonna get its direction so that's target that transform origin minus a global transform origin normalize the vector direction then we get rotation amount so with 3d this returns um, a vector 2 so this is actually a vector 2 here the cross product 
Quick three, don't recall. Then I split it out, get the X and Y, split it and put it into the rotation. And times the speed and the delta. Then right here is where it's tricky. You should always rotate the X direction. This is the same as I think it was a uh, vector three. Uh, I think one and zero zero. If I recall, yeah, I think that's what it is. So that's x on x, and then this one is on y. Maybe I got that mixed up. That should be weird. that should work. Then we set the transform translate to its forward basis times speed times delta. So that should just work. Let's test that out. On the scene, go so, follow me around. So jump over it and it flips around. I know it's moving a bit slow, but you could mess with the uh, speed and rotations. And as I said, this part is in the tutorial, so let's just add some effects that are here. Save into the missile and set on body entered missile connect that up save again go back to missile go in inspector add the explosion effect where did I put it explosion effect D. right save and run now I should get hit explosion all right guys that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And thanks again for 500 subscribers. If you, uh, if you have any suggestions like what kind of videos I could make with tutorials, leave them in the comment below. Alright guys, take care.